What is up, Fabu fam? Now, I know you guys have heard of the reverse cat eye. It's everywhere. It's viral. So let's jump right into it. I've already got my base and my foundation on. So we are starting today strong with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. You guys know how I feel about this, okay? I raved about it in my last video. I'm still raving about it. It's beautiful. It's blendable. It's creamy. It seem, it's just everything you need in a concealer is this. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Make sure to be blending this in with a nice beauty blender. Make sure your blender is damp and just pat that into the skin, honey, and keep blending. When you think you're done blending, blend more. I'm taking this cream contour by Refai Beauty and I'm just bringing life back to this face, putting it on my cheekbones, high up on my cheekbones. Make sure that you're not letting that product drag down and I'm just creating nice symmetry throughout the face. A new thing that I've been doing is actually just taking my contour from the bottom of my cheekbone straight down to my jawline instead of contouring it just below my jawline. I find that this really helps in slimming my face down. It's kind of like the three method, but I didn't really used to follow it before, but now I really see a big difference. Since I know I'm going to have really dark shadow beneath my eye, I just want to make sure that that contrast is perfect. So I'm putting on another layer of concealer. This one's by e.l.f. It's a little bit brighter and I'm just blending that in. Another really good hack if you want your concealer to blend pretty fast is you kind of just put your damp sponge towards your eye like so and kind of hold it there for like two, three seconds and it absorbs the product really nicely. I'm setting my entire face with this Giorgio Armani compact powder. I like this one because it has a nice luminous finish, but obviously use whatever one that you're comfortable with. I'm basically just prepping my face for baking, which yes, I do that now. So I'm taking this banana powder. I like this color. It's not too white. It's not too dark. It's like the perfect shade. And I'm just pressing that right beneath my under eyes, but notice I'm not going all the way up. I'm kind of just putting it like half an inch below so that any fallout or any mess that happens, it's gonna catch it. I'm taking this neutral shade by the Makeup by Mario palette and just starting at the front of my brow and just winging it off all the way to the tip of the brow. I want it to look very airbrushed and seamless. I'm also gonna put it on my lower lash line as well, getting it prepped for the dramatic lower lash, honey. This is gonna be a very monochromatic look. I want all the attention and the focal point to be on the bottom lash. Don't you just love when you forget to pluck your unibrow right before you start filming? No, just me? All right, moving on. I'm taking this Makeup by Mario liner and I'm just tight lining my waterline. And after that, I'm just drawing a line right below it. As you can see, there's kind of a little space where you can see skin. So after that, I'm gonna just take a brush and I'm gonna use that brush to buff those two together, creating a nice line that's in unison with one another and that looks seamless and perfect. And then I'm gonna take the end of that and I'm just gonna use the product to just wing out that liner. This is the easiest thing ever, you guys. I was so in shock how beginner friendly this is. Even if it looks intimidating, it is so easy. Highly recommend you try this out. Now grabbing that first shadow that we started with and just buffing that in with a different brush. This one's a little bit more fluffy and just blending that in once again. I'm putting on my Lily lashes in the style Goddess and I just cut them in half and put them on the ends. I feel like these lashes were perfect for this look. They weren't overbearing because again, I want the focal point to be on that lower lash line. And now for the most satisfying part of this tutorial is just dusting off that bake. Do you guys see how flawless that is? Like, okay, we're taking off all the excess shadow. Anything that has just been left behind is now taken off and now I'm going in with some bronzer Bringing back that warmth to the face and we are almost done guys. I'm very proud of the time we've made today And oh my lordy, I finally got my hands on this Dior blush that everybody's raving about. Yes, it's amazing Yes, it's beautiful, but to be honest, I feel like I could I, I have something like this in my collection. Nothing really special, kind of overpriced. Now I'm blending in my lashes with the falsies of Very Important, and I'm taking this liner. This is by ColourPop. It's in the shade BFF2. It's the perfect shade. If you're my skin color, I feel like it's a little bit darker than a nude. It's like the perfect liner to line your lips with. To 
top that off, I'm putting a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on. This has like a nice pink tone to it, but it was a little dark for my liking. So a little hack is I just took some concealer, dabbed it on the center of my lips, and it creates a nice little ombre effect. And last but not least, you guys know I got to top it off with some gloss. This one is by Hourglass. It's beautiful. It has like little sparkles in it. Love the way it makes my lips look. And I'm just going to go ahead, set my face. I always set my face before I put my highlighter on. I'm taking this highlighter and just putting it on the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and it just lightly dabbing it on the top of my cheekbones. And bada bing, bada boom, she is done, ladies. The reverse cat eye is approved by me. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I know you guys are going to ask where my jewelry is from, thereby stay here LA. These necklaces literally don't tarnish, you guys. Make sure to check them out in my description. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.